Kemp, the next one's for you. Who is Joe Gardner and what is his passion in life? Well, Joe Gardner is a middle school band teacher in Queens, New York, but more importantly, Joe has always been an aspiring jazz musician. Um, if anything, I think if you ask Joe um, why he isn't doing jazz, he'd just say that getting to his goal has just taken him a little bit longer than, than he would have expected. Yeah. His passion for life has always been music. It's always been playing music, playing the piano, playing jazz. Kemp, how did Pixar capture the true flavor of New York City? Well, Pixar captured the, the true flavor of New York City through, I mean, the same thing that Pixar does with all their films, which is tons and tons and tons of research. Um, visits, um, taking photographs of real communities in, in New York City, um, visiting New York City jazz clubs, visiting schools in New York. All, all of the environments that we recreated in the film came from everyone, our designers, our, our animators, everyone actually going on these trips and participating in the research process, as well as feeding our own very personal aspects of New York. I'm, I'm born and raised there. But I think there's no city in America that more people have some experience with than New York. And I think everyone has their own version of their favorite um, New York things. And we just wanted to get as, as many of those things into the film as, as possible. And for Kemp, Joe Gardner is Pixar's first lead African-American character. What does that mean to you? And how did filmmakers strive to create an authentic character and reflect diverse Black experience? Well, I mean, Joe being Pixar's first African-American character is, I can't overstate how important it is to me. Um, it's, it's a, it's, it was, a, as, a, as a creative person, it was a wonderful opportunity to, to bring as many of our personal, my personal experiences as possible into creating this character and the world of this character. But, but it wasn't just me. It was, it was an opportunity for, for everyone involved to kind of craft Joe and, and craft Joe's world. And, I, I mean, it's a burden is the wrong word. I think that there's a, I had a great feeling of responsibility since this was the first time to make sure that we did this character and did this story um, justice. Um, and we, and I love the fact that I'm working on this film with Pixar, we weren't asked to shy away from that authentic black experience from those authentic elements of of Joe's life and Joe's culture. Um, and by not shying away from them, I think it even makes the story seem more universal than, than it would have been. Joe is not a generic character who just happens to be black. He's, he's absolutely a, a black American man from New York City. Great. Kemp, I'm gonna jump back to you one more time. Pixar strives to provide equal parts, heart and humor. How does soul reach that goal? I think soul reaches the Pixar does strive to provide equal parts, heart and humor. And I think soul achieves, achieves that goal by doing the same thing that almost every Pixar film does. I think Pixar has a tried and true creative process that involves trying lots of things and failing lots and lots of times until we find the story. We find the story that we're trying to tell. We find that emotional story. I think the humor is always something that we know will eventually come. So that is never the focus in, in the early stages of making these films. The focus is just on telling the most relatable, powerful, potent story that we can, because there are just so many funny people in House at Pixar that, that you could just do a movie with two hours of gags and it might be the funniest movie you've ever seen. It's like, that's how many funny people are just kind of floating around. So the one thing we never worry about is being able to add the humor because you know Pixar, there's a, there's a lot of funny people I'm um, walking around in the halls of um, of that building. 